another day doing more project updates. The Mark II solar charge controller blew up. I fixed most of it. I'm not entirely sure what happened. It's been running quite happily for months on a 100 watt panel. I put a 200 watt panel on it on Saturday and by midday Monday it broke down. Half the components are burned out, something must have overloaded. I've fixed up most of it but I cannot seem to get the uh, load current sense working again. Not sure what's gone wrong there. But it's likely I'll just rebuild the thing entirely when I want to mark on the Mark III. Part of which is going to be this thing here. Watch this. I've got the two composite positives going to the power supply and the battery. And the negatives in the power supply and the battery coming here. Now, if I connect these up, the other two wires are just going to the multimeter. Then what will happen is absolutely nothing at all. See that is showing zero current and the reading on the meter is simply the difference between the battery voltage and the power supply voltage. But if I take these off, swap them around, Get on there. Get on there. And put them on the other way round. Current flows. The battery charges. Oh, you might think it's a diode. Of course it will. And you're right. Except this diode has a forward drop of 0 0.03 volts. <laughs> Yes, the circuit is what is known as an ideal diode. It's, it uses a bit of active electronics trickery to emulate the way that a, a perfect zero forward drop diode would behave. And this does it quite well. It uses less than a milliamp to run itself. Uh, well, we do not believe to measure. We'll give or take a milliamp. Point is not much. There is one small problem. I don't know how this works. Now I've got a schematic of the thing there. Ignore the bits at the side, those are just simulated solar panel and battery. The bit in the middle is what I've got on that board. And somehow this thing is being a very nice ideal diode. I just don't understand how. That shouldn't work. I, I could, it, it, I've never seen it done with MOSFETs like that. I've seen them with bipolars and that's fiddly enough but I don't care. It works. That's what matters. It's magic. Trust in the magic. Once I've put this through some thorough testing I'm going to get this properly documented and uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with this. Oh and if you want to try, if you want to try this yourself and you think I'll just use some 2N2222s Watch the watch the reverse voltage limit on the um, base collector junction. It's not much. I blew four transistors before I figured that out. <laughs>